To enter this houseboat, you must first cross this wooden bridge, resting on pieces of styrofoam. It's a difficult test for this reporter. My houseboat is very worn out and needs every time we encounter a typhoon. You can see that the 12 square meter houseboat is quite damp and old. The boards under the foot of the reporter have decayed. It's quite leaky, and when one enters, there's barely any room to stand up. More than 30 years ago, Mrs. Pham followed her husband from Tin Nam Din. 100 kilometers away to capital of Hanoi. In a big city, it's hard to find work, and couples with low education get little pay. They can't afford to rent a house, as they have to live in this boat for 30 years. Most of us don't have a fixed job. We are old and have bad health. We can only buy food every two or three days. She stores food in a styrofoam box, which can go bad easily because there is no refrigerator. Even if you can afford to buy a refrigerator, there's no electricity here to run it. The residents of these houseboats along the coast are regarded by the Vietnamese government as illegal buildings and are not provided with water, electricity, gas, and any security. Therefore, they are mostly self-reliant, installing small solar panels on the roof to store electricity and relying on weak stored electricity at night. They also use the river water for their daily necessities. I am cooking with firewood. Although I have a gas stove, I have no money to buy gas. In this corner of the city, people struggle to get food and clothing. Meanwhile, in another area, people are quite affluent. Seven or eight kilometers from the houseboat is the center of Hanoi, where I am standing now. You can see that there is a lot of traffic in this area. The restaurants here are quite similar to those in Taiwan. You can find just about any type of food here. Hong Kong style tea for two men would cost around 100 US dollars, so there is quite a large income disparity. The gap between rich and poor makes food distribution uneven. Research shows that children in poor environments have a significantly higher rate of malnutrition than children in wealthy families. This little girl and nine younger siblings are cramped into this big bed to sleep. There's also a table for food for her mother and grandmother. I want to give a good meal to my grandchildren, but there is no money. This is the only thing we can give the grandchildren. If there is not enough food at home to eat, I will first let my brother and sister eat. If there is anything left, I will eat it. This younger sister who eats leftovers suffers from long-term malnutrition and is smaller than other students. A survey found that 7.5 percent of global children's weight loss is due to insufficient food. Asia is most serious, where there are 9.7 percent of children are too thin. The number of severely malnourished people is 3.4 percent, which is higher than that of African children. In Vietnam, the poverty-stricken population in rural areas is four times that of the city. The number of residents under the poverty line is more than 3 million people who suffer from insufficient food and poor sanitation. Here is a slum in District 8 of Ho Chi Minh City. A local slumlord uses sheet metal to make 100 houses which are rented to the poor. The living environment is very bad here, and from our camera we can see garbage is everywhere. One city for two worlds. There are a lot of people who are a family of five and only have about five US dollars to feed the family for two meals. And there are some rich people who spend 20 US dollars and it is still not enough for a meal.
The poor can't afford food and the rich have too much food. This phenomenon is not only found in the same country, but the gap between those in developed and underdeveloped countries is even more remarkable. In Africa, 20 people are hungry for every 100 people, while in Asian countries, although better, 11.4 percent of the population is still in a food shortage, while in North America and Europe the situation is less than 2.5 percent. Most of the Earth's food resources are in the hands of a few economically developed countries. Research finds that people in developed countries do not cherish food, with the world's top five wasters of food being in order United States, Canada, Austria, Britain, Germany. In the world's 820 million people are starving because of insufficient food, which is equal to one in ten people. But the irony is that the rich people plus the poor people in the poor countries waste 1.3 billion tons of food in the same year. There are those who eat too much and many who eat too little, as wasted food is also a problem as uneven food distribution is affecting many around the world.